Hi guys, it's me Chris for the Cheek of It 69 on YouTube. You know today it's Chris's vlog. You get this once every 10 to 14 days. What I normally do, when the other vlog has got over at least 100 views, I then do the next vlog and today is your lucky day everyone. I'm going to tell you some shocking information about me today. Everything I tell you on the vlog is 100% true, you do know that. On the comedy show of course it's comedy, uh, but obviously when it's the vlog it's 100% fact. You're going to get some shocking information. I don't really want to tell anyone. But I like to be honest with you all. You support me, you watch me, I owe you that. More YouTubers should do this and be honest. As I said, it may hurt my character and my comedy, but I always like to be 100% upfront with you. What we are gonna be having, on Christmas Day, we're gonna have a special vlog from me at home on Christmas Day, showing what I do. I'll be doing some cooking tips and just some general chat and maybe some different stuff from me. That won't be comedy, that will be a Christmas vlog. You'll see what I do on Christmas Day. On Boxing Day, we're going to have the special comedy Christmas edition of the Cheek of It 69. And it's also going to be the cash competition giveaway, where one of my lucky subscribers will win, obviously, some cash. Uh, it's the first person in the comments to answer, an unedited answer. Make sure you obviously do watch the shows, as it will be about the show, and you have to be subscribed to be eligible. But that's enough of that. We'll get on to the next show for Comedy Actual Way. It is Wednesday. Now, I'm not going to cut that out. I'm going to leave it in. It is Wednesday. It is the next show for me. About 4pm UK time, as you know. What today? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give some of my day up on Christmas Day. A lot of my family don't know what I do at the moment. They still think I'm maybe, I don't know, 20-year-old Chris. They don't know what I've grown up over the last sort of, so many years. They maybe don't know that I've changed. As I said, I had a lot of shit in my life. The same as all you out there. I'm a normal guy like you all lot. I'm sure you have struggles every day. I have the same struggles you have. And yeah, I go through the same crap, but maybe sometimes more because I'm always putting my life on social media. I know you guys do as well, but I've got it on so many platforms. I get so much bollocks from everyone all of the time. Not my close friends and my viewers. I love you all. I really do. Please like the video. That's how I know you're watching. It really makes a big difference to me and cheers me up a hell of a lot, guys. It really does. But on Christmas Day, I'm going to give away half of my Christmas Day. Well, not half, maybe a third. I'm going to go to the community centre. Some of you may not know, I volunteer once every Sunday for my local community centre. And this year, I'm going to do the Christmas cooking. I used to be a chef. Uh, I was a chef for a couple of years, about 20 years ago. I'm not saying I'm the head chef, far from it. Uh, but I cooked in a restaurant. I'm not a qualified chef, but I know how to cook, of course. I do all of the cooking in my house on Christmas Day. I do a big slap-up roast, which I'll show you on Christmas Day. On the actual vlog, you will see me. And I may give you some Christmas tips. I'm going to have some fun, some laughs. You can see into my life properly. And I'll let you know more information about me on a special Christmas Day vlog, as I've said. What I will do very quickly, I've got a pop down here and give a friend of mine. Uh, he wanted to lend £5. I've got £10 to last me for two days. I'm going to lend him the five pounds. Uh, he's not going to want to be on camera, I'm sure. But what I'll do, I'll quickly give that to him, and I'll see you back uh, in a second. Yeah, that's all sorted anyway. Uh, he'll pay me back uh, next week. I'm not going to hassle someone for five pounds. Uh, I'm sure you, you know when you lend a friend something. Uh, if it's a proper friend, you don't have to go on about it all of the time. I do want to say thank you for some of the Christmas cards. I've actually sent in my cards out in the morning. I know I'm leaving it late, but I haven't been in the position to do that, to be honest. I shouldn't have really lent someone £5, but he's a close friend, and he needed it for food. Simple as that, to be honest. And oh, I'll tell you the truth now, I've got £5 for two people to feed ourselves today and tomorrow, and probably for three days, simple as that. It's not going to be done. Uh, it's just the way it is guys when I say watch my videos and like them it really makes a difference if you haven't already subscribed and you're still watching please do it uh, it makes all the difference once I get to a thousand subscribers you know what I'm going to do it says in my YouTube about section I won't go into it but yeah that's what I'm going to do you can go and check that after if you haven't seen it already a couple of bits of information I've hit 6.4 million views around the world on all forms of social media and I'm just a tiny tiny bit under 100,000 social media followers at the moment. Uh, you can find me on the Cheek of It 69 on Facebook, group, YouTube, TikTok and Instagram and even Reddit if you wish. So just get that out of the way. But what I was saying, I'm a self-taught person. Everything I've done in my life was self-taught. Even the cooking, uh, even comedy, everything. I was actually homeless on the streets. Uh, so I'm going to give you this bit of information. I'm going to give you one more piece of information that's shocking, even more so than this. I was homeless 
on the streets for quite a while, uh, moving between blocks, uh, people's couches, hotels, anything you can name it. It was a massive, massive, massive struggle. What had happened is I split up with an ex-girlfriend. This is many years ago, now, about 20 years ago. This is how I'm going to tell you how comedy saved my life originally. Uh, split up with her, had nowhere to go. Went to stay with some parents. Uh, things didn't work out properly. Things went crazy. I then went to stay with my grandparents. Uh, one of them died from cancer, then the other one died from cancer. That's why cancer charity means a lot to me. When I go on about offering me your support, guys, it's, I really do. I'm not going to just say I'm helping these charities and not going to. I know they're big charities, cancer charities, but they mean a lot to me. I want to make it so I can help normal people. You guys at home, people that need it. People used to say, uh, when I used to do stand-up, that I was a the people's comedian. Uh, yeah, maybe I am. I'm a normal guy. As I said, you know, I don't. I try not to give any bullshit out uh, and lie to you. What's the point? That's why I give you total transparency. But yes, yeah, so I was homeless for two years, uh, maybe a bit less actually, maybe 20 months, 18 months, but 18 months to two years. Uh, comedy then saved my life. I then found somewhere to stay uh, with the help of uh, my father and my uncle. They helped put the money down. Then I started to do open mic sessions. Then a few bits and pieces, then I got some proper shows. Someone actually dug up some footage uh, uh, the other day uh, on a, a DVD, I think it was transferred from video, which must have, uh, we're talking 15, 16 years ago, but uh, 17 years ago, I can't remember the exact date, but yeah, there was no date on the uh, DVD. It looked like it had been transferred, it's pretty rough, but yeah, they found some segments of me doing what I was doing, and yeah, it was great. Obviously, I'd never used to play characters. It was just straight stand-up. And don't get me wrong, guys, I'm not saying I was a world-class a stand-up comedian that used to do comedy at the Palladium and Broadway and all that. Of course not. I'm not trying to suggest that. But I would have been a lot more up the mar up the ladder, even, than what I am now if it wasn't for my back injury. Uh, some of you may still not know I have a spinal condition. My back, I've got reduced spinal fluid. I also suffer from depression and now arthritis in my fingers as well. Uh, which is pretty cold at the moment holding this selfie stick up. That's what I feel when it's a selfie stick. Uh, but yes, that's all happened. And the comedy saved my life. I found somewhere to live. Had something to live for. I uh, used to be an alcoholic. I've told you before in the vlogs, haven't I? And that really did save my life. And it was amazing. What I'm going to have to do, guys, my shoelace is uh, shaking about underneath me. So I'm going to stop and uh, tie it up. And I'm going to give you that last shocking piece of information, guys. I don't want to do it. I'm not, it's not a joke, but I will do because I respect you a lot and I always try and be open. Yeah, that's all sorted anyway. I don't want a shaky old shoelace uh, ruining the vlog at the end anyway, but this is shocking. I'm still debating whether to tell you, but I'm going to. Time this goes on, it will be too late. I had a really rocky young childhood. Uh, Dad was an alcoholic, uh, simple as that, I'll tell you that now. And obviously things wasn't great, uh, used to obviously, uh, was always fighting with my mum. Uh, well, it wasn't really fighting I suppose, it was him uh, abusing her, simple as that. Uh, very, very, very rough childhood, went for a lot of crazy shit in my life. Uh, I don't blame it for any of the stuff, well actually maybe I do, maybe it caused a lot of the stuff I'd done when I was younger, you know, being an alcoholic. Uh, cannabis, you know, drugs, and just the stupidness that you do as a youngster, you know. Uh, some of that didn't, you know, went beyond teenage years. Uh, but many years now, you know, many, 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 many years now, I've changed my life, as I said. Uh, some people do still maybe begrudge me for what I've done, but what can I do? I can only be what I am now, honestly, hand on heart, I can only be what I am now. I can't be anything else. You know, that's it. Uh, that's why I try and be totally truthful, but I'm going to give you all the information now about it. Dad was an alcoholic, used to abuse my mum uh, as a youngster. Uh, the only reason it stopped, I was about 13. This ain't the information I was going to give you, this is more, much more to come. Uh, about 13, he was hitting her, basically. And it came to a stage where I saw that happen. I was 13. I'd put up it for years of abuse. It nearly killed her, beat her up. My mum might hit the roof if she sees me saying this, but she's nothing to be ashamed of. She never done nothing wrong, and nor did the kids. Uh, he was an alcoholic. 
Uh, I made up with him in the end. He died about five, six, seven years ago now. Uh, it did really rock me uh, quite a lot. It was proper crazy. I never thought something like that could obviously rock someone so much in the life, but it does when a parent dies. Uh, basically, that actually happened. Let me get past these uh, people here very quickly. One moment, because I don't want obviously them hearing uh, what I'm trying to say on camera. All right, mate. Yeah, I uh, don't want them hearing what obviously I'm saying on camera. But no, it's nice to obviously see. I go past people all of the time, and they knew Homie. I knew it was the cheek of it, 69. And uh, which is fantastic around the air, which is lovely. But so uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you that what I was going to say. Uh, literally, I saw him hitting my mum. I ran up uh, with a pool cue. I used to play pool. Some of you may know eight ball pool, blacks and yellows. And the, uh, black, reds, yellows, black. Hit him with the pool cue to get him off of her. He ran away. And then that was the catalyst of them finally splitting up. She always felt like she owed him something. He was always sorry, you know, as they are. Sorry it won't happen again, won't happen again. We used to sit up. Mum used to sit with me in her arms at the age of six, seven, making me, saying, you know, wetting my eyes to pretend for me to cry. So when he came in drunk, he wouldn't beat us up. Or not beat me up. He, he, um, he hit me, I'm sure, as a kid, many times. But he wouldn't beat her up. Maybe thinking that she would, you know, he would feel sorry for her. Oh, the baby's crying. But no, it didn't make no difference to him, to be honest. Uh, he was a bastard. Uh, I'm sure most of it was the drink. But it still doesn't excuse none of that. Far from it, what he'd done. He nearly killed her. I will tell you about another vlog. I don't really want to tell too much about my mum. It's not fair for me to say... You know too much about her, what the side of it for her, but because of all that went on, here's the shocking information. <sighs> I didn't go to school as a kid. Uh, I went to primary school for six months in my life, and I never went to secondary school because of all this craziness. It was a different time back then. Uh, Thirty years ago, what we're we talking 30, 25 to thirty-five years ago. It was different time, you know, social services and stuff, maybe when I come around to check as much. None of that would have happened back then, but I didn't go to school. That's what caused me to not be able to, I suppose, read and write properly or spell, uh, which then caused me later problems. I want to write books and I want to write stories and all that. I can write, but no one else can understand my writing because it won't be spelt properly. And it's just shit, basically. It's like a, a primary school. Uh, probably, I don't know, seven or eight year old could write better than me and spell better than me. I can read. Can't read perfect, but that's the heartbreaking thing, and that set me up really shit in life, guys. You know, that's why when, you know, I don't want to get upset, but that's why when I say, you know, the comedy means a lot to me, and my friends online mean a lot, it's really true, and... Hi guys, filming was interrupted due to the battery dying in the device. I've only walked probably about, I don't know, a minute, a minute, 15 seconds, and I put the battery back in, a new one, which I carry. It didn't even give me a notification, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, you guys mean a lot to me. I always try and be totally honest with you. I said it may hurt what I do, but I don't care. I can't be any other way. I really can't. I really can't. But I don't want to get into that too much, but yeah, I didn't go to school. Six months of schooling is shit, isn't it? And that shit, all because of that crap. The shit as a you know child that led into them being alcoholic and then drugs and then, you know, stupid things. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy what can happen in life, guys. But it goes to show, if anything, I know a few people that say I'm their, you know, role model and they look up to me for getting through my illnesses and what I've been through. You can get through anything in life if you're an addict, if you're in an abusive relationship, if you're homeless, if you haven't got nothing, you know, you, you can get through it, trust me. I know a lot of my friends have, they've got through it, and they obviously have changed their lives uh, dramatically, and they've improved the quality of their life. So don't think it's ever too late to change, to do what you love. Just do it, just go for it. They Just go for it, simple. I'm going to keep doing it, whether I'm filming here, guys, for... One of you, ten of you, thousand of you, ten million of you. I'll always do it. I absolutely love you all. I hope I've not been too boring today. But I wanted to give you some more real information about me. This is what the vlog's about. You know it is. And I do love you all. So it's me, Chris, for the cheek of it, 69. Today, Chris's vlog, 
I will see you on Wednesday for a full comedy show. And then don't forget Christmas Day for the special Christmas vlog for me. And then Boxing Day for the great cash giveaway with the cash competition as well. But I do love you all. Take care. Be safe wherever you are in the world. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.